Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to go over some practice questions for altered nutrition as an introduction to pathophysiology. In this quiz, we'll review some of the major digestive tract complications. I'll walk you through the answers and rationales for each question. Starting off with question number one. Gastric contents entering back into the esophagus is most often called and for each question, I'll leave a bit of a break where you can pause the video and think about the answer. So the answer here is D, gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, which usually occurs due to a weak lower esophageal sphincter, which allows gastric contents to enter back into the esophagus. Moving on to question number two, hypersensitivity to gluten is most likely a sign of And the answer here is A, celiac disease. Gluten-sensitive enteropathy, also known as celiac disease, is an autoimmune disease of the intestine that is caused by the consumption of gluten. And question number three, blank is the abnormal accumulation of fluid in the abdomen. And this one is A, ascites. Ascites is caused by portal hypertension and decreased liver function, caused by liver scarring or cirrhosis. Question number four, which of the following describes inflammation of the gallbladder? And this one is C, cholecystitis. Cholecystitis means inflammation of the gallbladder. Cholelithiasis is the formation of gallstones, and cholangitis is the inflammation of the bile ducts. Question number five, excessive alcohol consumption, H. pylori infection, and NSAIDs can all lead to... And this one is going to be A. Peptic ulcers. Excessive alcohol consumption, H. pylori, and NSAIDs can all break down or destroy the gastric mucosa, causing peptic inflammation and ulcers. Question number six, what causes yellowish discoloration of the skin and mucous membranes? The answer is C, excess bilirubin in the blood. Excess bilirubin in the blood causes yellowish discoloration of the skin and mucous membranes, also known as jaundice or icterus. Jaundice is often caused by problems affecting the liver. Question number seven, when a part of the stomach protrudes through the esophageal opening in the diaphragm, it is known as A or N. And this one is B, a hiatal hernia. This is the correct definition of a hiatal hernia. Causes of hiatal hernias may be a short esophagus, a large hiatus, injury or trauma to the area, or increases in pressure to the surrounding muscles. And for the last question of this quiz, number eight, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease fall under the umbrella term. This one is B, inflammatory bowel disease or IBD. IBD is an umbrella term used to describe chronic inflammation of the digestive tract, including ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. And that's it for the Altered Nutrition Quiz. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.